Hello everyone, my name is Jackie and today I'm here with a new TBR game. TB Archery. Yes, the pun is horrible. Please go with it. So a couple of years back I did archery quite regularly, but I haven't touched it in I think two years. So this will be interesting. But this is where I'm shooting at. Not the door, please. All of this will be moved upstairs into the attic, but this is where I'm shooting it. And yeah, and those are my prompts. I think I have around 60 or something here, which is a lot. And I divided this into 12 parts. And I will put the prompts around here. And which part I the arrow lands in, that book I have to read. So that's the easy part. And now how to decide how many books I have to read. So for those of you who did this one, you know that each of the circles gives you a certain amount of points. The innermost yellow circle gives you 10 points, the outermost white gives you one point. So my goal are 40 points. I'm going to shoot until I reach 40 points. If it turns out I'm really bad at it, because I haven't done it so long, then I will change the points I have to reach a little bit down. But for 40 points means if I hit directly into the middle four times, then I'm done. So we'll see how this works. If I miss the white outside the outermost circle, then I'm picking a book from my TBR jar, but I don't get any points, which means it's an additional book. If I completely miss and um, the arrow lands somewhere, then I have to reach five more points before I can finish the game. If I actually hit the bell's eye, which is the middle of the middle, then I can pick a mood read. It's 10 points and I don't have to pick a book right now. Another rule is no rereads. I have a prompt that says reread, of course I can use it then. I have a prompt for audiobook, I can use a reread then if I've never before listened to the audiobook. But I want this game to pick the books from my TBR. All the unread books that I own because there are way too many. And punishment if I don't finish a book in a month is that in the following month for every book I didn't finish I have to reach an additional three points. Which means if I haven't finished one book it's 43, if I haven't finished two books it's 46 and so on. So yeah that's the plan for TB Archery. Um, We'll see how it works. I have set everything up in the attic, which where it is very dark, so I hope I can somehow manage with the lightning to film all of that and show you. Let's get to it. All right, let's see if this works or if I'm completely not capable of doing this anymore. And the first one was a miss, so we're starting this off great. My TBR jar would still has the old list in it, so there is a possibility that I will get a book that I either unhauled or have already read. Let's see what we get. And what we get is Heart of Thorns by Brie Barton. Can you even see this? This was in a fairy loot ages ago. And it's set in a world where only women can have magic and every woman is suspected of having magic. And there are also women who are half goddess and they are all hunted for their magic. And it's about a girl who is trained by her father to become a hunter, but instead he decides to marry her off to the prince. And when she tries to escape that future, she realizes that she is one of those half goddesses. So, sounds really great. Okay, the first one I missed, so let's hope the second one works better. 
otherwise I'm going to change my girl a little bit. It's another myth. And that was the second one, and it was another myth. So, once again, we're going to the TBR chart. And this time we get. This time will be different by Misa Sigura. Which is this book. And this I got, I think, in an Illumicrate. It was the only regular Illumicrate I ever got. And it's about a girl named CJ whose favorite pastime is helping her aunt in the family's flower shop. But one day her mother announces that she will sell the shop to the family who took a lot of their property during the time where Japanese Americans were sent to internment camps. So it might be a bit on the heavy side. But it still sounds very interesting. So I'm just going to shoot a second one before I go over there and take it out. <sighs> that was at least somewhere inside. But I think I have to go and change my goal for this one. Alright, so first one was another miss, but still on the white part still on the board. The second one are two points. And that's the prompt. I hope you can see this. And there's two, yeah. Good. I finally hit something, although I got only two points, but the prompt is dystopia, so I'm going to read Scythe by Neil Schusterman which is a bit of a cheat because technically I read this book but I read it in German and I don't know that much about it anymore but I want to finish the series so I definitely need to read this again. This is set in a world where people don't die anymore so to fight over population they have decides who can glean people which is the only way people can actually kill be killed. And this follows two scythe apprentices and they are training which at one point differs greatly and everyone loved the first and the second and was and most people were disappointed by the last book so I'm a bit scared about that. But first I still have to read this. Okay since I already have three books um, and only two points we're going down to 20 for today, I think, because otherwise this game will never end. <laughs> That's something at least. That's one point, which means I have a total of three points now. Yay. And the prompt is a reread. So this time I only got one point and the prompt is a reread, which fits perfectly because I'm planning to reread A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. I'm going to listen to the audiobook for this one and I'm going to reread the whole series before the release of A Court of Silver Blade. So it's one of my favorite series, but for those of you who don't know what it's about, it's about Feyre, who is a huntress. And one day she kills a wolf and shortly after a fame turns up and tells her that as payment for killing the wolf who is actually a fae she has to come and live with him. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I absolutely adore this book but the second one is definitely the best so yeah can't wait to reread this. This is going to be my fifth arrow and I only have three points. So let's see I can finally manage to get a little bit more. Otter? I forgot how difficult it is. Yes! Something! We hit three points, which means I'm up to a total of six points. And the prompt is YA.
this time I got 3 points and the prompt is YA and for that I picked Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas which I've been wanting to read for a while now so this is about this is about Yadriel who is a trans boy and he wants to prove that he's actually a brujo so he decides to summon someone there but instead of summoning but instead of summoning the but instead of summoning the ghost of his murdered cousin he accidentally summons the ghost of the school's bad boy and i heard a lot of amazing things about it but i'm also really scared about it because it's supposed to be a love story but one of them is a ghost so we'll see but yeah can't wait to read it and also look how beautiful it looks under the dust jacket. I adore it. Okay, arrow number six. At six points. I really want to change it down to ten at the moment. But well, let's see. That's nine points. We're at fifteen. Yes. And the prompt is. Nine! I got actually nine points and the prompt is fantasy, which is great. So I'm going to read The Archimedes Kalten Feuers by Nathan Winter. This is a German author, so there's no translation and it's quite a thick book. And it's about Prince Oslik, whose father is murdered by magicians. And he has to try and get his kingdom back. And he is, he's compared to Da Vinci, he's very science based. So he has to fight with his science against the magic, well, the magicians or wizards. So that sounds really great, but it's a lot. And yeah. And what might hopefully be our last arrow, since I'm stopping at 20 today, but I will get it up a notch every month, hopefully. Our total up to 21, which means I'm done. And the prompt is a recommendation. And we're going to put up a new prompt immediately. I got six points and the prompt recommendation, which will be the last one because we reached 21 points and I decided to stop here this time because otherwise it will be way too much. And the book I'm reading for recommendation is The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue by W. E. Schwab because I heard a lot of blog because I heard a lot of people on the internet talk about it and saying how much they loved it. This is about Eddie LaRue who at one point in her life made a deal with the devil to be um, to become immortal but the price for that is that no one will ever be able to remember her but one day she meets a guy who remembers her that's all i know about it and all i want to know about it so really excited for this book that's the whole stack that's quite the hefty stack actually we have we have seven books and quite a few of them are not short but yeah, I have a bit of time at the beginning of the month where I don't have to work because we're in another lockdown. So hopefully I will be able to get to all of them and maybe even some more. So if you like this TBR game, let me know down below, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have ideas for other prompts, leave them down below too. If you've read any of the books, talk to me about it, but please no spoilers. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!